Okay, Digital Warriors, hey, welcome back. It's Gundock, and uh, here we are in the last video here for uh, Flashpoint Campaign's Red Storm, which I'm just going to call Red Storm from there out. It's uh, too long of a title to keep repeating. But uh, we gave all of our units... Oh, let's go ahead and move our HQ up. Where do we want to move them to? Shit. We're going to put them... Uh, we'll put them right here. Yeah, that's good enough. Um... We've set up our units. Um, we kind of have an idea of what the uh, the AI may do. Um, again, I think they're probably going to come down uh, route N279, straight into Bischoff sign. Um, but just in case they do come south on uh, NES51, we've got a uh, an Arbor Battalion down there to to put the kibosh on that. And as the battle, battle progresses, if uh, I don't see any forces here, I can always pull them. Uh, north through Waldberg and Sandberg and bring them right uh, into the south of Bischofsheim. So we've given our units uh, orders. I'm going to zoom out here a little bit. And uh, we're ready to go for the first turn. So we're going to go ahead and hit start and see what happens. Alright, our units are moving out. Our recon's moving up, our recon Humvees. It's going to be really important that these Humvees here in uh, the middle of the board get to these uh, ridge lines and get good eyes on uh, Route 279. Our tanks in the south are moving into position. And you guys probably hear shooting and everything. That's just the ambient sound effects of, uh, of the game. It doesn't mean anybody's under contact just yet. All right, our armored battalion in the south is set up in the trees. And our recon units are they're slowing down a little bit because they're moving through heavy, dense uh, woods. So let's see, uh, let's see how it goes. And we can still scroll the map. Nobody yet. Okay, so that's turn one is complete. And as you can see, like I said in the previous video, um, orders this phase, I can give up to four orders right now. Um, so I can only move four units. Let's check our uh, command control communications here. So we've gotten inside our enemy's command cycle, which is good. So we are three minutes inside his at an estimate. Um, He's at 34, we're at 31. So things are looking good. Um, let's see here. If you click on a stack and hover the mouse over it, it'll bring up all the units in the stack. And you can click on them one at a time uh, to kind of see uh, you know, how they're doing. That's fine. I'm satisfied with that. Let me check his line of sight one more time. I'm satisfied with that. He's fine. They're moving. And I can adjust these moves now. Um, if I move a waypoint, it doesn't affect... At least I don't think... It, it doesn't affect my orders. So if I, say, move this waypoint... See, that's not like giving him a new order. If I was to cancel these waypoints and give him a new order um, from the menu, like this, then it would count as a, uh, as a order for this phase. But readjusting waypoints does not. All right, those guys are set up. These guys are set up. You know, I don't think I'm going to move anybody right now. Um, what I am going to do is rest some dudes. So the readiness is down to 69. So let's resupply him. He's fine. Readiness. 66% readiness. All right. I'm going to leave those guys. All right. Let's just hit start and roll with it. <clears throat> and it doesn't look like they've taken this uh, victory uh, point here by north of show now either. Obviously, these are bridges. You can destroy bridges to hinder, uh, you know, your opponent's movement. You can also build bridges. <coughs> it's 
kind of tense just waiting for things to happen when you don't know where the enemy is. Uh, it's another great thing about this game. It's uh, every time I play it, I'm, I'm either learning something new or you know something crazy is happening. I, I've had good games and I've had horrible games, um, and it all comes down to, to you know either good command decisions or bad command decisions. Um, down here, the tactical ops center diary. This basically just tells you, you know what's going on as your units get engaged and take casualties or you know inflict casualties. It'll update down here. Uh, subunits. You click on a unit, it'll tell you the subunits for that unit, um, and basically just kind of, you know, like if I look at this platoon here of M1s. Actually, let's go up to this one here. Oh, and it looks like our hellos arrived. Our little Apaches. So that's good. How many Apaches in it? There's two. Find out. I really need to get these uh, recon units up. All right, so we've got four more, four more orders this phase. Phase readiness went up. That's fantastic. They're resting. The readiness is going up. Superb. Okay, I need to get these Apaches. I want to get them somewhere where I think they'll be most useful, obviously. I'm going to get them right there. Um, they've got a very long standoff range. I want to say it's like, uh, yeah, 17 plus uh, hexes. Um, night capable. They fly high. Um, you don't really have to worry about too much about uh, interfering obstacles as far as line of sight. Um, so I think right over here above Sandberg. They'll be able to see down this main thoroughfare. They'll be able to see north. Um, that's going to be a good place for those Apaches. Let's go ahead and hit start again. And see what happens here. Our Apaches are moving out. And sometimes you'll get, uh, you know, uh, fast movers, things like that. Oh, we pick something up over there. So he's picking up, what he's doing is, is he's picking up uh, air defense threats, you know, on his RWR or, you know, his radar or whatever. Um, so we know that there's air defense units over there. That could be a problem. We'll see here. But it's nice using his sensors to kind of figure out, oh, and we've got some Heinz in the south. And you can't cl you can click on the enemy units, but the the way I've got it set up right now is uh, kind of fog of war. Like I don't know how many units are, are in here. You know, even though it says four, that doesn't necessarily mean that's an accurate number, because um, just like you know battlefield intelligence or military intelligence for that matter, um, you know it could be right or it could be wrong. So it looks like so I was right. It looks like a this looks like a recon probe here that they're going to try to probe the south. Which means that the main thrust may be coming in. We got another set of Apaches. Nice. We got four Apaches on station. We're going to manhandle these guys. Um, okay, so let's take a look here. Got something there. This could be problematic. Um, if it really is four Heinz in that one token, that's going to that's gonna be really bad news. I'm going to go ahead and pull my poor recon guy out of here um, just because he, you know two Humvees are not going to stand against a, a bunch of Heinz and with that being said I'm going to bring my other Apaches down here Let's try to squeeze this 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 element, this stack. I can't look in that stack. And I'm not sure what these guys are doing here. This is an air defense unit. Don't know what he is. It says four helos, but could be more. We don't know. 
this plus symbol here that just dictates that it's a it's a mixed unit so it's wheeled could be infantry with it could also be some track vehicles uh kind of similar to i don't know if he's going to show it but i don't think any of mine do a lot of the russians are like that um another thing here and i'll show you right quick this white dot down here in the right bottom right hand corner that means the unit has been spotted whereas you can see on mine um there is no white dot that's because they haven't spotted my uh my vehicles yet yes i know group order is not allowed really i'm gonna move him down here let me get a better angle on that you i want there I want there. Yeah. Okay. And he's set in place too. So nobody's come up this way. That's good news. Okay. Uh, I think we're ready for it. Let's hit start. Play it out. Second unit of Apaches are moving up. Let's go ahead and hit the Tac Ops Center Diary. Uh oh, that could be problematic. Mm. Well, hopefully they'll just stroll right in and we can catch them in a nice little ambush here. Those look like, that's got to be a recon element. I don't see any heavy armor in that at all, it's just recon units. BTRs, BMPs and such. What are you up to, computer? What worries me is I haven't seen any tanks yet. Where are the tanks? You know the Russians, they have loads and loads of tanks. But where they are, I don't know. Oh, and they're engaging our Humvees. Run away, little recon. You do not want to fight that fight. He's, he's going to get... I have a feeling that recon unit's going to go away. <laughs> there's, there's no way he's going to survive that. Yeah, there's one hit. Dead. And as you can see, since he killed that, uh, that poor Humvee, we lost sight on all those guys. Nobody's got line of sight on them anymore. But here they come. Somebody's got line of sight. I'm hoping my well-placed... Uh, Air defense here can can kill those guys. Oops, sorry about that. All right, so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut this video short, and uh, we'll continue in the next video. So uh, stay tuned, guys. Watch the next one. We'll see how this battle unfolds. See you later.